Now, Eyewitness Sports with Elliot Polakoff. We are coming up on two years since the UConn football team last beat an FBS opponent. Now, after a promising start to the season, it looked like that streak might come to an end. But as Huskies fans know all too well, change doesn't usually happen all that quickly. USF was favored by 11 points heading into this one. That might seem like a lot of points, but both of these teams were 1-3 and three entering today's matchup. South Florida up 7 to nothing early in the second quarter. Trayvon Sands takes it in from four yards out, 14 to nothing. USF. Not a great start for UConn, but the Huskies keep on fighting. Mike Beaudry to Cameron Ross and UConn on the move in South Florida territory. A couple of plays later, Beaudry playing a little pitch and catch with Elijah Jeffries and the freshman does the rest scoring from 25 yards out UConn cutting the deficit to seven and for any freshman catching your first ever touchdown pass that's a pretty big deal but USF marches right back down the field Jordan McLeod to Randall St. Felix in the corner of the end zone 20 to 7 USF after the PAT was blocked UConn's offense in the second quarter though it was in a rhythm Kevin Mensa that is some hard running 18 yards to the house but from then on it was pretty much all USF. The Bulls win it 48 to 22. And afterwards, head coach Randy Edsel, not too pleased with this team's performance. Well, we got beat by a more athletic team, better team. And uh, we had so many, so many self-inflicted wounds today. Um, you know, it's just something that wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't good. You get uh, frustrated and do some things you shouldn't do. And that happened where we got a couple penalties that uh, shouldn't have had, but, um, um, you know, just got beat.